Hello, and welcome back to MotoGP Insider. Today, we have a thrilling update ahead of the Italian MotoGP. The factory Ducati pair Francesco Bagnaia and Enea Bastianini are pushing through pain barriers and gearing up to race on their home soil. Buckle up, because the drama is truly gripping. To begin with, both riders are showing immense grit and determination in their preparation for the upcoming race. They're both nursing injuries, but have resolved to race nevertheless. Ducati team manager Davide Tardozzi has spoken up about the situation, indicating that only Francesco Bagnaia might be reaching the starting line in top form. Tardozzi, sounding optimistic and supportive, spoke about Bagnaia's progress with hope. Quoting him directly, he said, I'm quite convinced that for Mugello, he will be 100%, so he will be one of the protagonists. Now that's definitely a promising sign of a champion's resilience and fighting spirit. Remember the French MotoGP where Bagnaia, our reigning MotoGP champion, had a run-in with bad luck? That's right, he collided with Maverick Vinales and ended up with a fractured ankle. But sometimes every cloud does have a silver lining. The extended gap between the races has given Bagnaia the crucial time needed for recovery. Now he's projected to be fit and raring to go at Mugello, a place that's not just another race location, but a home Grand Prix for both him and his team. Now, switching gears, let's talk about Bagnaia's teammate, Bastianini. Despite his spirited efforts, his condition isn't looking quite as promising. A recent private test on a Panigale after Le Mans revealed he could race at Mugello, but perhaps not at his full potential. Tardozzi painted a realistic picture of Bastianini's circumstances, noting that even after a long hiatus from riding, he demonstrated impressive speed. However, the lack of strength might still pose a problem. Here's what Ducati team manager Davide Tardozzi had to say about him. He commented, Bastianini was quite fast after a long time without getting on the bike. However, Tardozzi also acknowledged the elephant in the room, Bastianini's physical condition. He stated, It is clear that he is still not well physically. His shoulder didn't cause him any pain, but the lack of strength still created some small problems. Despite the uphill climb ahead, Tardozzi seemed hopeful expressing his wish. I hope he regains a little more strength in his right shoulder. I think if it goes well, it will be at 80%. Bastianini's debut as a factory Ducati rider was unfortunately marked by adversity. He suffered a broken shoulder blade during the inaugural sprint race of 2023. He then attempted a courageous comeback at Jerez, but the searing pain during Friday's practice session forced him to withdraw. It's been a challenging introduction to his career as a factory Ducati rider, to say the least. Before the season kicked off, many were looking at Bastianini as a strong contender for the championship. His dynamic with Bagnaia was also expected to be a major storyline, but the cruel twist of fate sidelined him, leaving fans and experts alike waiting for his triumphant return. As the MotoGP circus descends on the beautiful Tuscan circuit, it's a make-or-break moment for Bastianini, and we can't wait to see how he rises to the occasion. And in the midst of all this, let's not lose sight of the bigger picture, the MotoGP standings. Bagnaia sits comfortably at the top, but only just. With a slender lead of one point over Marco Bezzecchi, the tension is at a fever pitch. In the third spot, flying the flag for South Africa, is Brad Binder. Despite not clinching a victory yet, his consistent performances on the KTM have earned him 81 points. Binder has made one trip to the podium this season. And in the fourth position, we have the Spaniard, Jorge Martin. Riding a, a Ducati, Martin is currently holding 80 points. Like Binder, Martin has not yet tasted victory this season, but has made a trip to the podium. But we want to hear from you. Who do you think will emerge victorious in the 2023 season? Can Banyaya maintain his slim lead? Or will Betzeki edge past him? And let's not forget Binder and Martin. Can they upset the Italians and clinch the top spots? We're eager to hear your thoughts. While you ponder on that, remember, we are your ultimate hub for all things MotoGP. If you enjoyed today's rundown and don't want to miss any future updates, do hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, share it with your fellow MotoGP enthusiasts, and most importantly, subscribe to MotoGP Insider. Until the next update, stay safe, stay excited, and we'll see you at the races.